friends, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do some standard paper weaving. What you will need is a piece of paper or two and some paper weaving strips. These are called weft. The material you weave with is called weft. And this material could be paper, it could be yarn, it could be, who knows what it could be, but it could be a lot of things. Anyways, the material you weave with is called weft. And then what you weave on is called your loom. And we are going to be making a paper loom here. Now, if you don't have a bunch of construction paper that you can cut into strips, don't worry because you can always color your own piece of paper. This was just a plain old born piece of paper, but I just use crayons. You could make a fun design. You could even draw a picture and then cut it up. That could be kind of cool. And then to turn this into the strips, all you have to do is flip it over. You can use your ruler. This really helps me. And use a sort of your, your, your Muppet hand, but open that Muppet mouth. Ah! Hold your ruler down and you're gonna just gently guide your pencil along the ruler. Remember, you never push against the ruler. It's just there to help you create straight lines. Anyways, after I finished drawing all those lines across, I would just take my handy dandy scissors, chop them up into strips, and voila, I'd have my very own colorful strips, okay? Now, keep in mind, these are all the same size strips, and this is gonna give our weaving a sort of checkerboard look. If you want to get a little more advanced, and I can show you this a bit later, maybe we'll see how the video goes, you can measure these into like a bunch of thick ones and thin ones. You can make them all different widths, different sizes. So that could make a really cool, interesting weaving. Anyways, let's move on. We've talked about our weft, the material we weave with. Now let's make the loom, the paper loom. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your paper the long way, okay? And you're gonna fold away from your body, right in half. So here's what I do. Match it to the corner, hold. Match it to the corner, hold. Double check your work. Okay, I'm holding super tight at the top. And then use your pointer finger or a bunch of fingers if you want. Pinch the middle, swipe, swipe. You always want to pinch the middle first when you fold your paper and then swipe, swipe, because if you start from one end, a lot of the time your paper will move, but that's okay. You can always open it, smooth it, refold it down the center, hold, hold, pinch the middle, swipe, swipe. Alrighty, now, you wanna be careful that your open side is always facing away from you, okay? The folded edge is here and the open side is away from your body. Now what I'm gonna do is make a scissor stop line because that's an important line to make. Now, it's kinda hard for me to make a sideways line like this, that doesn't feel comfortable at all. So I'm just gonna turn my paper, hold my ruler on the open edge, Muppet grip, Ah, open that mouth, hold it down, and draw your scissor stop line, okay? This is where I will be cutting lines to, and I will stop here. So I'm gonna write stop right up there. And let's double check. Is this line on the open edge? Yes, yes it is. If you find that your line is on the folded edge, stop. Flip your paper around and draw it on the open edge. This is important to make your loom. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw straight lines all the way across. And I have my handy dandy ruler here, so I'm just gonna draw them straight across like this. Great, I am all, all done with my lines. Now it's time to cut. When you cut, you wanna make sure you're holding your paper super, super tight. That way it won't move on you like this. Paper has a mind of its own, but you can tame it. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start. I wanna use the molars of my scissors, so way back here in my scissors for a better grip, and I'm gonna stop right at the scissor stop line. Not before, not after, right on it. Here we go, let's cut.
Now you see here, you can already see my paper starting to move on me. If you want to grab um, a paper clip or a binder clip and hold it in place, you can so it doesn't move. This is the trickiest part. So be patient, go slow, and notice how I am adjusting my grip right here and then moving along. Awesome. My friends, your loom is finished. You're gonna open it up like this. Voila! Ain't it pretty? Now, of course, my ruler shouldn't sit behind there. I'm gonna scoot it over here. And I am ready to weave. If you wanna take a moment and get your weft strips ready, you can. And remember, they do not have to be all the same widths. Mine are all even, but you could make yours some skinny, some a little wider, totally up to you. Now, let's get started with our actual weaving. We are going to be weaving just the tabby stitch, which is a standard weaving stitch. And the tabby stitch goes over one, under two. Over one, under. Over under, over, under. And you always use your fingers to um, lift one of the your pieces up on your loom and then you scoot, scoot, scoot it down. Scoot, scoot, scoot it down. Be gentle as you scoot, my friends. Paper can be sharp and we don't want anybody getting paper cuts because paper cuts are kind of the worst. Anyways, notice how I start over and I end on over. Yours might look different than mine depending on the size of your paper and how many um, lines you have in your loom. So they might look different than mine and that is okay. I'm gonna keep going and let's talk about row two because row two is a little different than row one. Row one, I started over my loom, so row two is going to be under, then over, under, over, under, over, under. You can do it with me, over and under. And then scoot, scoot, scoot it down. Scoot, scoot, scoot it down. You wanna make sure there are no spaces. So those little corners of your little squares, they should be nearly touching. So really give that a scoot, scoot, scoot. And you, my friend, are on your way. You have woven two amazing tabby stitches or tabby rows, phenomenal. Now you tell me, what do you think? My third row, do I start over or under? That's right, I start over. And you can see a sort of checkerboard pattern starting to emerge. So don't ever forget this first row. Some friends go, oh yeah, I gotta keep going. Over, under, let's watch what happens if I do that. Oh no, I've made several mistakes. Now let's watch if I scoot it. Oh boy, they just collide. That's no boy, no. No good again at all. So I'm gonna take that strip out and start again. Over. Lift it, under. And you can always start up here and then scoot, scoot, scoot your paper down. Oop. Paper can be a little tricksy, but if you're nice to it, it should be nice to you. Scoot, scoot, scoot it down. Scoot, scoot, scoot it down. There we go. Next row will be you tell me, I start over or under. This one was over, this one's under, this one's over, so this one is under. You got it. I'm gonna full steam ahead, and let's see how it looks when I'm done. All right, my friends, I have completed my weaving. Now, I want you to know that this last row is usually kind of tricky because it's so tight. If you find that your last weft won't go in properly, don't be afraid to take a pair of scissors and trim it down, down, down like this. You are allowed to trim your weft. It is your material. You do what you need to do to make sure it fits in your last spot in your loom. Now, we aren't done yet. 
We wanna make sure that these wefts stay secure. So what you're gonna need is a glue stick or um, some liquid glue. I prefer a glue stick because it's a little more dry. Um, if you're using liquid glue, you are going to use one dot, not a lot. And here we go, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna secure these strips in place. These I like to call tabs, the little spots on the end that stick up like that. See that? Yeah. So we're gonna lift it up, add a little glue, smoosh it down. One, two, three. There you go. Give it a moment, otherwise it'll pop back up. Woo! See, paper has a mind of its own. One, two, three. Don't forget, you're gonna do both sides, not just both sides of the front, because believe it or not, you have tabs in the back. So let's flip it over and do two more rows of tabs. And that's it, my friends all done with my weaving. And check out this one that I did with my own weft strips and black paper. Really pops, huh? Can't wait to see what you create.